Ilori is the state's capital of Kwara State in Western Nigeria. As of 2006 census, it had a population of 778,000 people, making it the seventh largest city in population in Nigeria. Hello beautiful people, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Rejoice. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on the post notification bell to all. Like this video, share with friends and family and leave your comments at the comment section after watching this video. I would like to know your thoughts. In today's video, I will be showing you around Ilori City, the capital of Kwara State. Presently, I'm at Muritala area, the popular Muritala in Ilori. And in this video, you will be seeing Maraba area, the popular Greek roundabout, the roundabout that leads to Fate uh, Shoprite right area, Songo, Iano Basin, Kulende Junction. Oyun, the popular Oyun River and uh, the Oyun area at large. Then you get to see Yakuba, Elekoyongon, and Kwara State Polytechnic Gates. Presently, we're already at Maraba. The road by my left hand side leads to Amilegbe, while the road by my right hand side leads to the popular Saboke. Maraba area is one of the busiest areas in Ilori. There are a lot of shopping complex where you can get uh, wares, uh, both male and female, and also cotton, bed sheets, home decor, baby items, and lots more. By my right hand side is a popular park which is called Maraba Park. So if you are heading to Share, Patigi, Lafiaji and, and its environment, you can just come to this side and you will get a straight car or probably bus. There are also several schools along this area, uh, both the government and the private. Also, there are hotels along this roadside. As we all know that Ileya is fast approaching, this is one of the places where people always visit to get their ram at affordable price in Ilori. It's just by my right hand side as you guys can see. And also this is a school but I can't really remember the name right now. Now we are close to the popular agri roundabout, which was named after a ministry, Ministry of Agriculture, which is by my left hand side, but you might not get to see it. Anyway, the road by my right hand side leads to Fati, Fati Tanke, the ShopRite area. Yeah, so if you are going to ShopRite from post office, this is one of the routes to the place. So right now we are heading straight to Songo. No, sorry, Songo. I'm sorry, I'm used to Songo Ibada, so that's why. But anyway, it is pronounced Songo, yeah.
This is Kwara State University Contact Office. Um, So the road by my left hand side leads to Sobi, but I think there's another name. They used to call it either Iano Sobi or something. I can't really remember right now because it's been a while I left Ilori. Anyway, right now we are at uh, Songo Market, the popular Songo Market, where you can always get the most delicious suya. You can get yam and egg made by uh, the abokis. Uh, that's the ausas. You can always get a lot. I mean, fura. If you want to get fura, you can come to this side. If you want to get wara and different things, like if you want to get bend and select, that's okrika clothes. They are always affordable around this place. Uh, this junction is called Iyana Basin. Okay, so I noticed there is a new polytechnic around this area called New Land Polytechnic. It's actually a private polytechnic. This is one of the signs that I believe, okay, this area is actually growing. Anyway, we are still at Songo, so you get to see more about Songo. The road by my right hand side leads to Kulinde and that is why this junction is called Kulinde Junction. Beautiful people, welcome to Onion. Just by my right hand side is uh, a river called Onion River, Odu Onion, as they used to call it in Yoruba, which means Onion River. And just after the river is this green building, which I don't even know, maybe it's an hotel or something. And this is Trump office, as you guys can see. There is nothing easy in this country. Collecting jump form is a problem. Like nothing is uh, easy in this country. I will not even lie. Anyway, this is Onyo area. This area is called Onyo and it is majorly dominated by Kora State Polytechnic students. Also, indigenous lives in this area, but yeah, like I said, it is majorly dominated by Kora State Polytechnic students. By my left hand side is a special needs school which has been existing for over years now and is still existing and also well maintained. 
just after the special needs school is an immigration office which i think they just relocated to this side before immigration office was along uh, just right after shop right at fatty tanker but now they just relocated to this side which is also by my left hand side now we're already at apataya kuba Bata Yakuba is also a student area. Most uh, Kwara State Polytechnic students live around here, and there are several hostels, uh, bar, lounge, and yeah supermarkets and lots more around this area, which Bata Yakuba also share boundary with Eleko Yongo. So now we are close to Kora State Polytechnic gates. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Share this video with friends and family and leave your comments at the comment section. By my left hand side is Kora State Polytechnic gates. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.